Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some practice questions uh, for interpreting arterial blood gases. Now, as some of you may know, I'm doing my clinical in the emergency department and interpreting arterial blood gases is becoming very, very important and it, very important in my everyday practice. So in this video, I wanted to brush up my ABG skills, but I thought I would do a part two of my ABG interpretation videos. So this is primarily going to be doing practice questions and it's going to be fast. I'll try and explain as I go, but this is me basically doing some practice questions and trying to get you guys to learn from me. So let's, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I do for interpreting ABGs is I quickly look at the pH. The pH is not within normal range, it is basic. So I'm going to go ahead and click alkalosis. Next, I look at the PaCO2 and HCO3. The PaCO2 is 35 to 45. That's the normal range. This is above 45. So I know that this is an acidotic state. The pH is in basic. The PaCO2 is acid. And the bicarb is basic. So I know that the pH is basic. The bicarb is basic. That means the pH and the bicarb match. And because the pH and the bicarb match, it has a metabolic problem. Now, if the pH matched the PaCO2, it would be a respiratory problem. But in this case, since it matches the bicarb, it's a metabolic problem. Now, level of compensation. Okay, so the pH is not within normal range, so it's not fully compensated, but it is partially compensated because the PaCO2 is not within normal range. Since the PaCO2 is not within normal range and it doesn't match the pH, that means that we have a compensation through a respiratory acidosis state. And I know this because since the primary problem is metabolic alkalosis, I think of what is the exact opposite of that state. It is respiratory acidosis. And the exact opposite of that state is what the compensation is going to be by. So let's quickly check our answers. And we're correct. So let's go ahead and do another one. I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. Okay, pH 7.35 to 7.45. I know that this is an acid. Uh, PaCO2, this is a, uh, this is normal. And the bicarb is below 22. So now I know that there's a metabolic acidosis because the pH matches the bicarb. The level of compensation, since the PaCO2 is within normal range, the level of compensation is none. There's, it's not compensating at all. And we got that right. Let's try again. Let's try another question. So pH acidosis, PaCO2 normal. Um, the bicarb is acidic. So since this is normal, it's the same metabolic, uncomp uncompensated metabolic acidosis. Let's try another one. pH is basic, so I know this is alkalosis. PaCO2 is below 35, so this is basic. So pH matches the PaCO2 right now, and this is in acidic state. So straight away, I know that this is a metabolic alkalosis since the pH matches the, sorry, it is not a, uh, it's a respiratory alkalosis because the PaCO2 matches the pH. The level of compensation, well, let's see, let's take a look at the bicarb for that. The bicarb is not within normal range, so it is partially compensated by metabolic uh, acidosis. Let's do another question, 7.35 to 7.45, this is normal, so this is fully compensated, I know that right off the bat. PaCO2 is normal, and the bicarb is 22 to 26, it is also normal, so we know what the answer is for this one, it is normal and none, it's normal ABG. Okay, once again, I made the mistake of saying that it is there is no compensation, but technically, it's it, there is this is a normal ABG. When all the values are normal, it's normal ABG. Anyways, seven point three five to seven point four five. 
this is a um, 7.35 to 7.45. This is slightly alkalosis. PaCO2 is is a respiratory alkalosis because the PaCO2 matches the pH and 22 to 26. So I know this is acid, so I know this is uh, compensating by metabolic acidosis. Wait, what? You said that it was partial. Oh, shoot. I know. Oh, yeah. The pH was within normal, so the compensation should have been full. Hey everyone, check out these new nursing t-shirts that I personally have created. I hope you like these designs and if you're interested in purchasing them, click the link in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. Okay, so first we look at the pH, 7.35 to 7.45. This is fully compensated. It's more on the acidic side, so I'm gonna say acid. The PaCO2 is a basic state and the bicarb is a uh, acid state so I know that it is a metabolic acidosis the PaCO2 is not within normal range and if it I were to interpret it it would probably be it would be an alkalosis so because of that I know this is a this is a compensation um, this is a compensation that is a meta uh, respiratory alkalosis let's do another one so pH is 7.28, so we know that this is a acidosis state. The PaCO2 is below 35, so this is basic. The bicarb is also in a, the bicarb is in, so 22 to 26, it's an acid, an acid acidic state. The PaCO2, um, next I look at the pH to see if it's within normal. Since it's not, it has to be partial. And it's partial because it, then I look at the PaCO2. Since I know that the PaCO2 is below 35, I know that it is partially compensated by a respiratory alkalosis state. <clears throat> Let's try another one. 7.35 to 7.45. This is slightly acidic, so this is acidosis. It's not within normal, so it's not fully compensated. Then I look at the PaCO2, it's above 45, so I know, know that the, the pH matches the PaCO2, which is in respiratory. The level of compensation is none because the bicarb match is within the 22 to 26 range, so it is not compensated at all. Let's try another one. So 7.42 is the pH, so 7.35 to 7.45. That means it is with it's fully compensated, but it's within an alkalosis state. So it's normal, but it's normally basic. Then I take a look at the PaCO2. The PaCO2 is below 35, so I know that that is um, uh, basic. This is basic, so I know that this is respiratory problem. 2226 it is acidic so we know that it is fully compensated by a acidos metabolic acidosis let's try another one 7.35 to 7.45 it is acidic it's above 45 respiratory because it matches the pH 22 to 26 it's within normal range so that means there is no compensation 7.35 to 7.45, that means it is a basic PaCO2, so it is below 35. That means that this is a metabolic, sorry, this is a respiratory alkalosis because the pH is basic. PaCO2 numbers show that it is basic, and the bicarb is acidic. So that means it is partially compensated by metabolic acidosis. Let's try another one, 7.35 to 7.45. We know that this is alkalosis. 
the PaCO2 is acidic, the pH is basic, so it doesn't match that. 22 to 26, so this is basic. So we know that we're dealing with a metabolic alkalosis. The PaCO2 is not within normal range, so we know that this is a partially compensated um, respiratory acidosis. Let's try one more. Okay, the pH, 7.55. This is alkalosis. PaCO2 is within normal. Bicarb is alkalosis. So metabolic alkalosis, 35 to 45. It's the PaCO2 is within the normal range. So it is not compensating at all. All right, guys, I hope you learned from this video. I just wanted to show um, me doing some practice question and how I think about ABGs. ABGs are very important for you to be able to interpret in a clinical setting, especially if you work in a critical care environment. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Please be sure to follow me on my Instagram. It's way up there. And also make sure you check out the description box down below where I have links to my free eBooks, my fitness guide, my nutrition guide, and I also have a 45 day NCLEX plan where I teach everyone how I pass the NCLEX and how you can pass it too. So you definitely wanna check out the links in the description box and be sure to check out my other videos. I have playlists on my channel and thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.